One third of Latvia's population resides in its capital, which is the largest city among the three Baltic nations. Riga exudes a youthful vigor that is evident in its vibrant nightlife, hip restaurants, and burgeoning alternative scene. As a former member of the medieval Hanseatic League and a place that has experienced Swedish, Polish, Russian Empire, Soviet, and Nazi control, Riga has a fascinating past to explore. You may anticipate a beautiful medieval old town, cobblestone streets, a wealth of history, and delectable cuisine when visiting Riga. The best thing, though, there are less tourists in the capital of Latvia than in many Western European capitals because it hasn't yet caught everyone's attention. Making a decision can be difficult because there are so many things to do in Riga. We have personally seen Riga's highlights, saving you hours of time-consuming independent research. You may discover everything there is to know about what to do in this wonderful city by continuing to watch our video. So let's explore the top activities in Riga. 1. Old Town Enjoying the old town is one of the nicest things to do in Riga. Keep your eyes peeled and take in the various architectural designs. Since Riga's old town is so steeped in history, UNESCO designated it a world historic site. The old town has cobblestone walkways, cafes, restaurants, and historic homes that can be explored on foot for hours. You can see a lot of the traditional architecture from that era, proving that Riga was a member of the Hanseatic League. The cat house is a prominent feature in old town. Although the structure has some Art Nouveau design features, its cat statues are what make it so well known. On the rooftops, look for them. The cats have become so well known around the city that they are now considered one of Riga's icons and are even depicted on trinkets. We recommend you to see the Swedish gate in addition to the cat house. According to legend, it was first built during the time when bringing goods into the city required payment of taxes. To avoid paying those taxes, a wise merchant decided to construct a gate across his residence. The real tale is a little more plausible. The Swedish gate, which once connected the town to the barracks beyond the city walls, was once a section of the city wall. The gate is currently a well-known site in Riga that you should visit. 2. Town Hall Square It is astounding to consider that the Town Hall and House of the Blackheads, which can be seen from the Town Hall Square in Riga, are only a few decades old. The plaza is magnificent and the rebuilding is flawless. It is suited for a capital, a gloomy squat 1970s Soviet structure that previously housed the Occupation Museum stands out like a sore thumb adjacent to the House of the Blackheads. The Roland statue, which features a mythical knight and serves as a symbol of the city's medieval privileges, is a distinguishing feature of historic German cities. Keep an eye out for a little stone marker in the ground that marks the spot of the Brotherhood of Blackheads 1510 construction of what is said to be the world's first decked Christmas tree. 3. House of the Blackheads The House of the Blackheads Museum should be your sole museum stop while in Riga. One of the most well-known sites in Riga is the House of the Blackheads, which lies nearby St. Peter's Church. The Brotherhood of the Blackheads constructed it for gatherings and festivities in 1334. You will keep hearing about this guild if you visit Latvia and Estonia. Unmarried businessmen, ship owners, and craftspeople formed the Brotherhood of the Blackheads. The majority of them were foreigners, mostly Germans, who had banded together to trade exotic commodities while defending their ships and caravans from threats. They gathered in the House of the Blackheads in Riga to hold discussions as well as to rejoice. Those parties must have been wild based on the written records which include the house rules indicating that no one is permitted to leave till all the alcohol is gone. The first Christmas tree was put up by the Brotherhood of the Blackheads. Both Riga and Tallinn assert that this tree has been placed in their respective cities. This disagreement is unlikely to ever be resolved. Don't miss the Christmas tree on Town Hall Square, which is directly in front of the House of the Blackheads if you visit in December. The House of the Blackheads was bombed by Germany during World War II, and the Soviets afterwards destroyed what was left of the building. Fortunately, the basement was almost completely subterranean and unharmed. In the 1990s, the remainder of the home was rebuilt. You will therefore be able to see the contrast between the basement's medieval architecture and the building's more modern upper floors during your visit. 4. Freedom Monument, this mournful site, located east of the Old Town, honors the Latvian War of Independence fighters who lost their lives defending the country against Soviet invaders, 1918-1920. The Freedom Monument, which stands 42 meters high and is made of red granite and travertine, is crowned by a copper sculpture of liberty holding three golden stars. The focal point of the city's official remembrance rituals continues to be this monument. Thirteen groups of reliefs depicting national heroes, allegories, images of Latvian culture, and significant events in the history of the country, such as the Russian Revolution of 1905 and the War of Independence, may be found as you approach the base. The Freedom Monument is among Riga's most significant landmarks. It stands for the nation's freedom, as the name implies. 
Independence for Latvia after a protracted struggle for freedom is undoubtedly something to celebrate. The honorary soldier guarding this granite monument stands for the struggle for freedom. 5. Riga Cathedral The Dome Cathedral, a recognizable landmark in Riga, serves as the residence of the Archbishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Latvia. Since it was first constructed at the beginning of the 13th century along the right bank of the Dogava River, the structure has undergone numerous modifications. The cathedral has a cockerel on top of its spire, which like all the churches in Old Town, weighs 86 kilograms and serves as a weather indicator. One of the oldest portions of the cathedral, the charming Romanesque cloister, displays an earlier style. The dome pipe organ inside was the biggest in the world in the 16th century, but was destroyed in a fire in 1547. The Walker Orgelbau business fitted the current instrument's 6718 pipes during the start of the 1880s. It features a beautiful carved oak box. 6. Bastikalna Parks The Pilstas Canal, which meanders following the path of Riva's former moat, is spanned by the park surrounding the Freedom Monument. This hill, which translates to Bastion Hill, served as the location of Riga's eastern defenses up to 1856. A stately promenade, gas lights, statues, formal flower beds, and a man-made waterfall were all erected on the hill throughout the 19th century, and charming wrought iron bridges crossed the canal. The Latvian National Opera and the University of Latvia, two magnificent structures that border the park, all contribute to the ceremonial atmosphere. From the hilltop, observe the sun setting while strolling past the canal to observe the ducks, swans, and beavers. 7. St. Peter's Church We suggest the view from St. Peter's Church to everybody who asks what to see in Riga. Its tower has an elevator that will take you to the top, where you can see the entire city. You will undoubtedly obtain a view of Riga's layout because the structure is more than 130 meters high. You can see Old Town sprawling out below you if you look down. The tangle of cobblestone streets and the limits of the city center are easily discernible from here. For the soft light of the golden hour, one of the greatest times to travel is right before sunset. Be sure to check out St. Peter's Church's interior while you're here. Only a few of the church's original 1209 pillars and walls still stand today. Over the decades, it caught fire several times. Even so, it continues to rank among Riga's oldest structures. 8. Latvian National Opera and Ballet The Latvian National Opera and Ballet is a neoclassical theater from 1863, best enjoyed when the auditorium fills up for evening performances. The location is older than the Latvian National Opera, which was established in the same manner in 1912, but did not offer its first performance until 1919, when Wagner's Flying Dutchman was presented. The lavish interiors were created by August Falls' studio, which also created the Roland statue and the allegorical sculptures that adorn the House of the Blackheads exterior. A night of Faust, Die Flittermouse, or Monet and Butterfly is a cultural treat that no culture vulture can resist, so look up the schedule when you're in town and join the well-groomed crowd. Wagner served as the music director of the Deutsches Theater, the precursor to the National Opera, for a few years in the late 1830s. This is an interesting bit of trivia. 9. Nativity of Christ Cathedral You may reach the Nativity of Christ Cathedral if you leave Old Town and head north past the Freedom Monument. With its golden domes, the structure is difficult to overlook, so you may have already noticed it from the top of St. Peter's. The largest cathedral in the entire Baltic region is this one. Enter to view the ornately designed inside, but keep in mind that taking photos is not permitted. The cathedral was closed, its bells and crucifixes were demolished, and the structure was converted into a planetarium by the Soviet Union in the 1960s. The Republic House of Knowledge was the name given to it at the time. Thankfully, the church was never demolished by the Soviets. It was renovated following the collapse of the Soviet Union, and it is once more a magnificent Orthodox cathedral. 10. The Cat House and Art Nouveau residence on Mestara Street with medieval influences is a building that can be viewed from the exterior as you move about Old Town. It was designed by Friedrich Scheffel for a wealthy Latvian businessman, and the copper cats perched atop the corner turrets gave it its name. According to legend, these cats were created with their backsides turned toward the House of the Great Guild in Riga out of resentment on the part of their Latvian owner for not being permitted entry into the primarily German Great Guild. Following a court case, the owner was permitted entry into the guild and the cats were turned around properly.